How, how did you, you mentioned many times, like, you know, moving closer to your family and then, you know, you're, you're keeping secrets from your family. How did your family respond to all of this? I mean, I think that they, you had the conversion to Islam, and then you go into his career, and then, you know, it, it just feels like it's just getting worse and worse. And then, you know, oh, yeah. you're covering yourself up, you're sort of deeply involved in this cult, and then you have kids, and the kids are going through it. So, I, and then he takes a second wife. Like, how, how did all of this sort of play out with the family? Did they try to intervene? Did they try to reach out to you? They always tried to reach out. They, they were always, like, nice and... Um, they, you know, they disapproved of a lot of it, obviously, but I mean, mm -hmm. they loved the kids and like, um, I tried to keep the kids in their life a lot. So that was good. Like I tried to keep a close connection, although it was very hard to keep the second wife from him. And then as the kids got older, they had to learn how to lie to my parents saying like, you know, they don't like it. So we're teaching now the children how to lie. And that was really, you know, hard on a kid because like they're the grandparents and you know this is like something that they're part of you know yeah so teaching them like you know it's wrong here in this country but islamically it's right so it's just like so confusing for them and the, it's another question i had was that uh you know majid nawaz obviously he had it so he was your ex-husband's mentor right uh, and then he comes out of jail and he is now a reformer and he yeah. starts thinking yeah. differently. So, you know, uh, did that, w were you watching this and did that have any kind of influence in you? Like, okay, here's a guy, like, you know, I, I know that he was a guy who helped your husband get into it, but uh, I, were you following his trajectory as well in the terms of, yeah. okay, so there is a guy who was in my situation and now he's not, and that's a yeah. possible, something like that. Right. So um, the way my ex talked about it, and it was funny because he was like, you know, I really revered Majid and I want to know what he thinks because it might be something that I might believe as well. Like he was actually going into it with like that type of mindset even. Wow. So as he um, discussed with with him it was more just like trying to get him back to his if anything and as he realized that that wasn't happening and then as he was starting the quilliam foundation and everything it like he was just like talking about how much of a deviant and an enemy to islam he is now because moderating islam is like one of the worst things you can do so yeah it just became like a negative so how did you actually manage to get out though like isn't the the control very tight especially over Hit, the, like who imagined um no 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 from your husband like is it like how did you manage to like did you just pack up and leave no. like was it as simple no, as that yeah so it, um so i told him i wanted to leave and it was like but i i didn't know how to say it so i was like i you know just like leave me alone for a while and just stay at the other house and let the kids so they don't even notice. That was what I intended initially. Mm -hmm. And when I started expressing that, he, of course, doubled down. It was trying to, like, enforce everything on me. And as I was, like, resisting, I was, like, telling him, like, I know nothing's going to change. Like, so how can I, you know, there's nothing's going to change. And it was just escalating anyway, because he had just been traveling to a bunch of countries and they were looking for a place for us all to move to. So it was just gonna get worse. <laughs> and I knew it was headed that way. And um, so I just, so his, uh, his other wife uh, got pregnant again. And then he took me aside and told me that I can't leave the house anymore without his permission. Like I was gonna wow. now be locked down. And so I was just like shocked with that. So I, I thought of an excuse that I could go to my parents with the kids for the weekend. And um, I did that with the intention of not coming back. So I did tell him like on the Sunday night before going back or before having to go back, I told him I'm not coming back. <clears throat> and then it became crazy 
where he was like threatening uh, to get the kids. And he did take my son out of therapy, like a, like before it took him back, like away from me. And then we ended up having to go to a shelter for a month to get away from him because he was um, just not letting it happen. So yeah. is there any legal action that you could take? I mean, you, you were in Canada, right? So this is another. Yeah, they, Sorry, I Ireland, mean, yeah. he, he got like harassment and like stalking charges. And then I got a restraining order for three years, which was what I needed. Mm. But I mean, it protect like, I mean, I, I got the restraining order, but the kids did it. So, you know. Um, yeah, okay. that's. Mm -hmm. Armin, go ahead. So, oh, he, Okay, so after you left all of that, you're you're still a Muslim though. When you left, yeah, like and you were okay. So how did you you left uh, your husband? You left Hezbo Tahrir. You're still a Muslim. Yeah. What um, hap What happened then? I didn't know what to do. I I didn't leave Islam. I, that wasn't even a thing I was thinking. But I did take my hijab off and I I just started like just living I, I didn't practice at all so I was just in my mind I'm like I'm just not practicing right now and the lawyers and everybody would ask me like are you Muslim still I'm like I don't know like I didn't know what to think until like my ex accused me in the court papers saying I had publicly denounced Islam like he literally put that in there and I was like what like I never did that <laughs> but and then so it just kind of like led me to be like well yeah, I guess. Yep. I guess now I'll probably <laughs> denounce Islam then. So Wait, that's what that Okay, you know, go on, sorry. Yeah, that's so then I really started like yeah. just decided to just shed it all and, and really think about the religion and it um it just led me on the path to um Okay, but why yes. would that be in the court document? Like I don't know. He, he you should see he writes novels <laughs> statements. Okay, but like but like is was it, like what is he thinking? Like the judge is gonna be I like know, right? I was, oh my god, I wasn't on your side until you told me that she left the nurses. I mean you're in Canada. Like what yeah, how, no, how but he's that? that delusional. <laughs> like to him that's like an important thing to state in the like in the Canadian court. Yeah. What? And then I was just like, and I told my lawyer, I'm like, do you know like what he believes about that? Like he actually mm. believes like about apostasy and all that stuff like why like, would he put that so in wait there? did you say renounce or denounce 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 so you insulted islam in a way